Hi, welcome to another session of Circuits and Networks. In today's class, that is class 3, under two port networks, we are going to deal with Y parameters. As you see, in uh, a two port network, the Y parameters are given by Y is equal to Y11, Y12, Y21, and Y22. In fact, we have current I1, I2 in terms of voltage V1, V2. Let us go into the problem. In first problem, we need to find out the Y parameters. So, we will assign the actual equations of Y parameters that is I1 is equal to I11 V1 plus Y12 V2. I2 is equal to Y21 V1 plus Y22 V2. So, when you have this input voltages and output voltages connected to the two port circuit and the current which is flowing into this network will give you the admittance parameters. So, we need to do what? We need to short circuit the output port in order to get I1 in terms of V1, I2 in terms of V1. So, we will get Y11, Y21 and V2 is 0. Since this port is connected and it is shorted on the secondary side, this 3 and 2 they become parallel and then this combination will be in series with 1. V2 is 0 but I2 will be flowing into the circuit. So, with this we will get V1 in terms of I1, V1 in terms of I2 and then we can change to I1 in terms of V1 and I2 in terms of V1. How do we do that? First, we are estimating R equivalent. R equivalent when looking from the input port side, 3, 2 are in parallel and that is in series with 1. So, we will give you the value as 3 into 2 by 3 plus 2 plus 1 whose value is 6 by 5 plus 1. Now, this figure 1a will be changed to figure 1b in this fashion. We have reduced the size of the circuit and 1 in series with 6 by 5 will give you the value as 11 by 5 and that is the R equivalent and that is in ohms. So, I can write V1 equal to 11 by 5 I1. In fact, I1 is equal to 5 by 11 V1. This will give you the value of input admittance whose value as Y11 equal to I1 by V1 at V2 equal to 0 which is 5 by 11 Siemens or 0 0.45 Siemens or it is in MOS. Now, once we get the value of Y11, let us obtain the value of Y21. So, from the current division rule, we know that I2 can be obtained in terms of I1. How? I2 equal to minus I1. That is the total current by this minus sign because I2 is flowing opposite to I1. And you have current division rule, you have to take the opposite resistance that is 2 divided by the sum of these parallel resistors that is 3 plus 2 whose value will be nothing but 2 by 5 and what is I1? I1 just we got from equation 1 that is I1 is equal to 5 by 11 V1. So, I am substituting over here. Therefore, I am going to get the value of I2 in terms of V1 by cancelling out this like terms that is I2 is equal to minus 2 by 11 V1. Therefore, Y21 is equal to I2 by V1 at V2 equal to 0 which is minus 2 by 11 Siemens or minus 0 0.18 Siemens. So, this we are treating as equation 2. So, we have obtained two admittance parameters that is y11, y21. Right? Now, when input port is short circuited, v1 will be goes to 0, but i1 current will flow. So, we have to get the value of i2 in terms of v2. I1 in terms of V2. So, how do we do that? So, first this reduced network 1 is in parallel with 2. So, this gives the value as 2 by 3 ohms and that is in series with 3 ohms. So, therefore, R equivalent will be equal to 2 by 3 plus 3 which will be equal to 11 by 3 because this 3 multiplied with 3 will become 9 plus 2 will become 11 by 3 ohms. So, that is the value of R equivalent. So, I am going to get V2 in terms of I2 as 11 by 3, but our requirement is I2 
in terms of V2, so this becomes 3 by 11 V2. Therefore, we will get the value of output admittance as Y22, which will be equal to I2 by V2 at V1 equal to 0, whose value is 3 by 11 Siemens or 0 0.27 Siemens. After framing this equation as 3, from the current division rule, I can get the value of I1 in terms of V2. How first try to get the value of I1 in terms of I2? So I1 in terms of I2 from current division rule, I am getting at the value as minus I2. So for uh, these two parallel resistors, the opposite for I1 is 2. So that is 2 divided by sum of these parallel resistors 2 plus 1, which will be equal to 2 by 3. And what is the value of I2 just now we got from equation 3? We got I2 equal to 3 V2 by 11. So that is what we are substituting over here. With this, the like terms 3 goes off and we will be left out with Y12 is equal to I1 by V2 at V1 equal to 0 whose value is minus 2 by 11 Siemens or minus 0 0.18 Siemens or MOS. So after framing these equations 1, 2, 3, 4, we are going to get the admittance parameters as 5 by 11 minus 2 by 11 minus 2 by 11 and 3 by 11. Otherwise, the decimal values as 0 0.45 minus 0.18 minus 0.18 and 0 0.27. So these are the admittance parameters for the T network which is shown in figure 1. Let us extend this T network in figure 2. This I am replacing the resistor parameters. You can see here 4, 2, 2, 4. Now this is a combination of T and pi network. So for this particular network, we need to find out the pi parameters. So how do we do that? So assigning the input and output parameters and taking the y parameters equation, we will start with short circuiting of port 2. So when the port 2 is short circuited, V2 is equal to 0. Now this short wire is placed parallel to 4. In fact, this 4 becomes dummy resistance. In fact, this particular circuit will be changed to this circuit. So though 4 is there here, since it is connected parallel to short wire, so it goes off and actually we are left over with this circuit. Like in the previous case, we have now T network, 2 and 2 are in parallel and that combination is, is with 4. So I am going to get R equivalent is equal to 5 ohms. In fact, I will get V1 in terms of I1 as 5 I1. And what our requirement is I1 by V1, which is equal to 1 by 5, and Y11 will be equal to 1 by 5 Siemens or 0.2 Siemens. This will read as equation 1. And also from current division rule, I want to get I2 in terms of V1. For that, I will take first I2 in terms of I1 with the help of current division rule, which is equal to minus I1. Now, fortunately, we have 2 and 2 are in parallel, so opposite is also 2. So 2 by 2 plus 2, which will be equal to 2 by 4 and I1 just now we got from equation 1 which is equal to V1 by 5 and this minus is as it is. So we will get the value of Y21 which will be equal to minus 1 by 10 Siemens or 0.1 Siemens. This is minus in you have to take minus here over here. The small mistake please ignore it. You have to get minus 1 by 10 Siemens. So this will read as equation 1 and equation 2 and now we will search short circuit port 1 that is input port. So V1 will be equal to 0, but current I1 will be present. And 4 and 2 are in parallel. So 4 and 2 parallel will give you the value as 4 by 3. Now I will replace this parallel circuit in this fashion. So I have obtained 4 parallel to 2 as 4 by 3. So I am replacing this particular circuit to this circuit. And that is in series with 2, so I am taking 2 as it is, and uh, the rest of the circuit it is as it is. This I2 is flowing, so we should know what is the current which is flowing in 4 by 3. For that, I have taken this current I2 dash, which is the subset of I2 current, or this is the current which is depending upon the output current. So that is why we are treating this one as I2 dash. What we will do with this I2 dash, we will see. In fact, 4 by 3 is in series with 2, so I am taking this addition, I am going to get 10 by 3. So I can replace this 4 by 3 in series with 2 with 
10 by 3 parallel to 4 in this fashion. With this, what I'm going to get? I'm going to get the parallel combination of 10 by 3 parallel to 4 will be equal to 10 by 3 into 4 by 10 by 3 plus 4, whose value will be equal to 20 by 11. So looking at from port 2, I'm going to get the value of R equivalent for this parallel resistors, which is equal to 20 by 11 ohms. So that I can get the value of V2, which is equal to 20 by 11 I2. What is our main interest? We need to get the value of Y22 will be equal to I2 by V2 at input voltage is equal to 0. So it will be the reciprocal of this value that is 11 by 20 Siemens or 0 0.55 Siemens. This we are treating as equation 3. Remember this equation 3. Because of this equation 3, we are going to get the next admittance parameters. So just I have redrawn these two circuits once again. This 10 by 3, which is the series combination of 4 by 3 in series with 2. This is placed like this. So what we have obtained, we have obtained the total I2 in terms of V2. Now we need to get the value of I1 in terms of V2. For that, first I am going to get the I2 dash value from current division rule. Now I2 and I2 dash are flowing in the same direction. That is why positive I2 this is the actual current or the total current. And for this current which we need to find out in 2 in series with 4 by 3, the opposite will be 4 that is by 4 whole divided by the sum of this parallel combination that is 4 plus 2 in series with 4 by 3 it is nothing but 10 by 3. So 4 plus 10 by 3 which will give you the value as I2 dash is equal to I2 12 by 22. In fact I2 we have to remember from equation 3 in terms of V2 and we have to substitute the value of I2. So let us treat this equation as 4 that is I2 dash in terms of I2 and our intention is to obtain I1 in terms of V2 for that we need to know I1 in terms of I2. So first we will get I1 in terms of I2 dash and then we will substitute I2 dash with I2 and then I2 with V2. I hope I am not confusing you. It's a step by step process. Let us see how. So I1 will be equal to just I am taking these two parameters that is 4 to uh, divided by this 2. So I can get I1 is equal to minus I2 dash. The similarity what we have done in the previous problem because I2 dash is opposite to I1 that is why it is minus and these two are in parallel for current to know in 4 ohms opposite is 2 that is why it is 2 over here divided by sum of this parallel resistors that is 4 plus 2 whose value will be equal to minus 1 by 3 I2 dash. But I2 dash just now we got from equation 4 as 6 by 11 I2. So I am substituting the value of I2 dash which is minus 6 by 11 I2 and 1 by 3 as it is. So this when you take the normal calculations you will get the value as minus 2 by 11 I2. So I1 we got in terms of I2. Now we know that V2, I2 by V2 is equal to 11 by 20 Siemens. So I1 just we got the value as minus 2 by 11 I2. So I am substituting the value of I2 here that is 11 by 20 V2. So this give you the value of Y12 will be equal to I1 by V2 at V1 equal to 0. This 11 and 11 this goes off to divided by 20 will give you the value as minus 1 by 10 Siemens or minus 0.1 Siemens. So this is the value of Y12. Let us treat this equation as 5. So with equation 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 the Y parameters are obtained as 1 by 5 minus 1 by 10 minus 1 by 10 and 11 by 20 or 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.1 and 0.55. So this is how you obtain the admittance parameters for a given circuit. I hope you like this video. Please share among your friends, subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon for the future.